Babies, this is your kingdom baby girl, Pastor Zintle. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Um, welcome, welcome to my channel, guys, where we talk all things faith, relationships, and family. And we are still on relationship content. Um, if you are new here, make sure that you do join the tribe. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notifications bell so that you are notified of any new videos that I upload. Let's get into the video of today. What are we talking about today? We are going to be talking about the unhealthy dating habits of women. So I'm obviously going to be talking about women because what? I'm a woman, right? And uh, just a little bit of a background story. Yesterday, I think it was yesterday, a few days back, I was listening to one message by Apostle Joshua Salmon and um, Today again, I woke up, I listened to another message by Pastor Sarah Jakes Roberts and I started jotting down, you know, some of the things that I picked up, you know, from their messages. So that is why most of the time, you guys, you will find me with my journal, with my notebook, where I've written down some things. So if that is not the kind of uh, vibe that you are looking for, please, um, yeah, just forgive me. My, my brain, it is, you know, fourth level brain. So I can't remember everything. And some of the things that God will be saying to me, uh, if I don't really put it down, I'll forget. <laughs> I'll forget, guys. I'm old. So let's get into it. Uh, what are the unhealthy dating habits that women do? Number one, number one, guys trying way too hard to prove your worth yes it is very important that you know you need to show the guy that um what kind of a woman you are but don't try too hard don't try too hard to prove your worth uh, remember the bible says that he that finds a wife finds favor with god so you need to understand that you are a gift you are a gift to that guy so that is number one stop trying way too hard to prove your worth and then number two getting attached way too soon stop getting attached way too soon allow the guy allow time to get to know each other right and because you know why why th this one was my own personal one uh because if you get too attached way too soon it is a red flag to the men it shows them that you are insecure so you are insecure in yourself so don't get um too attached way too soon and number three don't be territorial allow the guy have some space you know uh, so that you can also have space have space to be with your girlfriends have space to study the word of god have space to go to church have space to pray god have space don't be too territorial i want you here i want you here there will come a time once you guys are married you will obviously become one most of the things you will be doing together but don't be too territorial number four um stop trying to rehabilitate a bad boy oh this one this one i didn't get it from nowhere this one is just me me and me <laughs> stop trying to rehabilitate a bad boy and the bible says that do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers if you are here you are a christian lady and you are dating you cannot go and date a bad boy in the hopes of saying that you will change him my sister you are just fooling yourself and you are preparing yourself for a huge heartbreak at the end of the day so stop um behaving like a rehabilitation center number five is it number five stop being too available stop being too available like i was saying you also have a life you've even if you are not working you know you are in the dating uh, uh, scene even if you are not working but there's time for you to sit at home you know sit with your family if you've got kids sit with your kids spend time with your kids read your bible study the word of god pray uh, look for jobs look for opportunities but just don't be readily too available you know um 
And one thing that I need to say, guys, stop inconveniencing yourself. Most ladies, they inconvenience themselves to, uh, to, conv uh, to be of convenience to the men. That, that my sister, you may be trying to, you may be saying that, oh, you know what, I'm just trying to, no, stop inconveniencing yourself. If the guy wants you, he will come and get you. Remember, you are the prize, so he must pursue you, right? And then the next one is stop looking for perfection. Guys, if you are looking for a perfect man, then you don't have a ministry in that man's life. Because the truth is you are called into a man's life to be a helper. So you cannot come and help someone who is perfect. So stop looking for perfection. That said, that being said, understand the difference between desires and deal breakers. You know, most women, they don't understand. They, they tend to confuse these two things. Your desire and your deal breakers are two different things. So understand your desires and understand your deal breakers. And lastly, as I close, as I round off, stop knowing his bedroom before you know his last, sen uh, his last name. So, <laughs> there it is, please. You know, this whole thing of come to my place, I will cook for you. Whilst you guys are still dating in the dating uh, 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 period, just avoid going to the guy's place because you know what? We are humans, right? And this body has blood. It's flesh and blood, you know, and you can be tempted. So don't find yourself in a, in a situation where you know his bedroom before you know his surname. You, you get what I'm saying. If you don't get it, forget about it. I hope that this video has blessed you guys. This is your kingdom baby girl, Pastor Zinkle. And I'm coming again with another video on relationships. I love you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to share the link with your friends, with your family members, with your church members. Share it. Let's grow the tribe. I love you guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.